At this point, you've learned enough about how Final Cut operates that the next step, adding transitions, will seem very simple and intuitive. Adding a transition is a common editing technique that creates a smooth or stylized effect between two clips. Dissolves and wipes are examples of transitions seen in every film and video production. Start by deciding where to place a transition. It can be helpful to zoom in on an area to make it easier to place the transition and to make adjustments to it. You can choose to place a transition between two video clips or between a gap in a clip. The point at which two clips meet is called the edit point. Open the Transitions browser, the same one we opened earlier in the program overview. Each transition is represented by a visual icon that animates as you drag your mouse over it to give you a preview of what it will look like. You'll also see a list of categories along the left side of the browser. For now, click All to see every transition available in the list. The most commonly used transition is called Cross Dissolve, so it's always right at the top of the list. When you've decided which transition to add, just drag and drop it onto the edit point. There's another way to add transitions. You can click to select the edit point in the timeline first, then double click the transition to add it. This works for a single edit point, but you can also select an entire clip to add the transition to both sides, or even to a group of clips to add transitions to even more edit points. By the way, if you need to delete a transition, just click on it and press the delete key. Sometimes the default length of a transition is exactly what you wanted, and sometimes you need something different. If you want your transition to be longer or shorter, change the duration. One way to achieve this is to right-click the transition and select Change Duration. The timecode counter changes to an input mode, so you can just start typing the new duration. Remember, timecode is measured in hours, minutes, seconds, frames. And there are usually 30 frames per second of video. For example, type 115 and press return, and the transition will be 1 second and 15 frames. The other way to change the duration of a transition is to simply drag the edges of the transition. To drag and drop the edges of a transition, you must zoom in on the area until you see these two small lines on each edge of the transition. Earlier in the training, we learned how to change the in and out point of clips by dragging and dropping the edges of that clip. After you've added a transition, you can still change the in and out point of those clips. Just click directly on those two small lines to perform that function. We want to change the length of the transition, however, so instead of grabbing the upper part of the transition, move your mouse down slightly before you click and drag the edges. You now have full control over the length of your transitions. Just about every transition available in Final Cut Pro 10 has several variations that can be adjusted to your liking. To view these parameters and make adjustments, just click once on the transition and take a look in the inspector. Since every transition is different, we'll demonstrate with a simple band wipe. With band wipe, you can choose to make the bands move vertically instead of horizontally. You can also change the number of bands. You can always reset a transition to its default state using the reset button. Be sure to watch every transition you place in the timeline. Just position the playhead or skimmer and press play. This is a critical step 
for ensuring that each transition you place looks just as good as you expected it to. 